the Clinical Molecular Genetics Laboratory in the Department of Pathology and Laboratory Medicine at the University of North Carolina really is at the center of integrating and applying new genomic information into patient care. There's really been an explosion of genomic information in the past several years, and we are constantly working to translate this information into better clinical tests, both for diagnostic purposes and prognosis, and to help predict how patients may respond to therapy. Medicines are not predictable. When you give the same medicine to a group of people, you have different responses. So we're trying to understand why are there differences in response. And so with individualizing therapy, we can take a blood sample, take it to the pathology department, and do genetic analysis. In the case of breast cancer treatment, we've used those results to choose the dose that someone receives for their therapy. By doing that, we can now normalize a patient's chance of benefit. There's been a huge explosion of cancer therapies that are really targeted to specific molecular mutations that occur within cancer cells or somatic mutations. And being able to test for these mutations within the cancer cells really helps doctors be able to tailor therapy better to the patients in terms of how their cancer is likely to respond. The testing that we do is very important for clinicians to be able to tailor therapy for that individual patient and we do testing that's specific for that tumor type. So one example is recently we had a patient who had lung adenocarcinoma who was being treated with EGFR-targeted therapy. What we found was an activating mutation in EGFR, but also a resistance mutation. And so that resistance mutation likely explains the, the progress of her tumor. So that required a change in the patient's therapy. We think it's important at UNC to be able to be at the research end discovering the types of mutations that occur in cancer and then translating that into clinical care. As more of these molecular therapies are used, we need to be able to test which of the therapies will work and then constantly monitor patients for these resistance mutations so we know when the therapy needs to be changed. As we start to understand cancer better and as we start to acquire more tools to treat cancer, it's really going to be critical that we understand which patients have which abnormalities that cause their cancer that we can then target with some kind of medicine. One of the things we're most excited about is having a capability that very few places have at the moment, which is to do very large-scale profiling of a cancer in real time, meaning have the results come back in a time frame where we can make clinical decisions about how to treat a patient's cancer. In the near future, we are really actively working to use next generation sequencing to diagnose genetic diseases in a myriad of different types of genetic diseases and also establishing efforts to use next generation sequencing to, to sequence cancer tumor cells to look for mutations that might be responsive to therapy. We're still in the very early stages of understanding what an individual's genome means for them. At UNC, we're taking the next step in sequencing large numbers of individuals in defined clinical settings to understand what an individual's genome can contribute to their care. The collaboration between clinical pathology on one hand and the clinicians on the other hand is absolutely critical to understanding these new data sets and, and interpreting these results for patients. At UNC, there are really active collaborations between pathology and other departments that are interested in using genomic information. UNC has been a very collaborative place and in the last 10, 15 years, really the, the interests of pathologists and, and clinicians have really started to merge and it really has come about because of this era of targeted drug therapies. We have been awarded a Clinical Sequencing Exploratory Research Award from the NHGRI for using next generation sequencing to diagnose genetic diseases and we're also supported by the UCRF, the University Cancer Research Fund from the state of North Carolina through the Leinberger Comprehensive Cancer Center. 
It's a really exciting time to be in molecular pathology because there's so much new genomic information that has come since the sequencing of the human genome. There are new genetic etiologies for disease that are found every week. And now we have the technology where we're able to capture that information and make better diagnostic tests. We have to know not only that we're providing accurate information, but we have to know what that information means to the patient.